rips on the arms for you. He's a lovely, lovely guy. Please make him very welcome as he comes all sauntering up to the stage, all dishevelled blocks and dashing good looks. The wonderful, sexy Mark Adri Sotoko. Thank you. Small but perfectly formed, just like my penis. And I don't know why I said that. I thought about that two minutes ago. Uh, I, I, I've recently turned fifty-one. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Yeah, fifty-one. God, I never thought I'd get that old ever. And I've got lots of friends, people I went to school with, and stuff. Who are Roughly the same age, trying to cheer me, me and themselves up. That is saying things like, you know, 50 is the new 30. <laughs> yeah, 50 is the new 30. And I'm thinking, arithmetic is the new numeracy, obviously. <laughs> I mean, how are they coming to this? Are, we, are, they, are they kind of doing some kind of weird conversion thing in their heads? Are we talking about Celsius years and Fahrenheit years? <laughs> Which doesn't actually work out, because I have actually thought about this, yet yeah, okay. rather than doing the proper job, I sit down at my desk and think about stuff like this. Now, if you take Celsius and Fahrenheit, 30 Celsius is actually 86 Fahrenheit, so that can't be that. <laughs> but if I go to 50 Fahrenheit, that's 10. So, <laughs> no, no, and going the other way around just basically makes no sense. And so I thought, well, what, what kind of conversion are they looking at? And I could be, the closest I could come to it is if they're counting in base 16. Yes. I actually went into it to that level of thought, base 16. And it only comes, it comes quite close because if uh, in base 16, 32 is 50. So, you know, obviously they're not thinking that, but they're just kind of wasting time, I do. Yeah, base 16. Really. But they do, they keep saying it, and they say it over and over again, desperately. You know, it's kind of like a, a, a prayer they're coming up with. They're, they're praying it, you know, and I keep seeing these lines of uh, middle-aged pilgrims at the uh, Holy Shrine of L'Oreal, <laughs> because they are worth it. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of like, 50 is the new 30. 50 is the new 30. Please let 50 be the new 30. Oh God, I want to be 30. <laughs> These are not wrinkles, they're laughter lines. This cream costs 60 pounds a jar. This is my natural hair color. I'm not having a midlife crisis. Have you met my girlfriend? She's 23, you know. <laughs> Oh God, I've wasted all my life. I should have never left the wife. I must be tired. This has never ever happened to me before. It's a religious thing. And now, actually, I wasn't that bothered at first. I really wasn't. And I thought, you know, yeah, I can do the kind of silver fox thing. Are you on these? So, yeah. But it turns out that's not good enough anymore. I'm having to compete with this. Okay? Alessandro Manfredini. Okay? This. I've got another one. Yeah, I am that sad. I don't spend my time looking up pictures of old men. Philippe Dumas. Okay? Silver Fox? No, no. Platinum fucking wolves. Okay? Look at them. Right? All over the place. You know, all over the magazines. Pinterest. I mean, I'm actually in danger of being traded in for an older bloody model. You know, there they are. All that beautiful hair. Beautifully sculpted. These wonderful beards. What do I come up with? Something that make me look like a Poundland Jafar. <laughs> you know? And it is, it, 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 it's as if Zeus himself, Zeus, has come down from Mount Olympus 
and been styled by Gok Wan. So, me? Okay. What am I doing? Trying to keep up. I'm still shopping at Top Man, trying to fit into trousers with legs so narrow, the only logical reason for me to wear them must be to prevent deep vein thrombosis. So, I'm walking down Tooting High Street, yeah? yeah? Super cool, Tooting High Street. Well, not actually walking, not in those trousers, what kind of. Right? I don't know, walking down Tooting High Street. And I catch my reflection in the window of TK Maxx. What do I see? I do not see a platinum wolf. No. I don't even see a silver fox. I see a rattled badger. <laughs> you know, it's not like the rattling is stopping. My body is changing. And it's not in a teenage growing up kind of way. Mm. Not quite exciting like that, although I am getting hair in new and interesting places again. <laughs> It's more in a not working quite as well as it used to kind of way. You know, like Great Rich Bake Off after we moved to Channel 4. <laughs> Amir Khan <laughs> after Celebrity. Or the Fukushima Power Station after an earthquake and tidal wave. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sleeping like I used to. I used to be able to sleep on anything. Floors, chairs. Friends, girlfriends. Chris Wilson's sister. Chris Wilson's mum. Chris Wilson's grand. Uh, and but now it's not so much sleeping as brief horizontal periods of unconsciousness before having to get up and pee. And it's definitely no liquids after ooh, seven o'clock. Otherwise, it's going to be absolutely no sleep anymore. You know, it's kind of like. And I'm regularly playing the game my heartburn or heart attack. <laughs> Haven't lost yet. Um, although, you know, I think mean, I did get it wrong once, ended up in casualty or wired up. You know, kind of things, you know, the machine going ding, beep, beep, beep. And, you know, thinking, okay, not good. Until this. Very sprightly lady doctor came in, picked me up, put me over a shoulder, and burped me. <laughs> uh, you know. And uh, I've I've had examinations. I've been uh, I went to have some a CT scan for my heart, uh, and it's in the department of nuclear medicine, which is completely misnamed. It's kind of really dumb. I'm sorry. Nuclear medicine, no, nothing exciting about that at all. But the results came back, and the doctor told me that I, the uh, blood vessels in my heart have a plaque buildup. Plaque. So I'm thinking, okay, not just washing my mouth out with this string these days, going to have to take it intravenously every morning as well. You know, at least, well, it could have been worse, I suppose I could be doing it like that. Cardiac needle scene in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> but uh, and I've had an endoscopy. I've had to have endoscopies. I've had colonoscopies. Oh, all the oscopies. Yay! Yeah. 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 Colonoscopy. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, the endoscopy, the nurses were very impressed. I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure there's a punchline for that somewhere, but I can't find it is. Uh, but seriously, no. <laughs> But I did get some really nice screenshots, which are now my OK Cupid profile. Go and see the spots on the inside that counts. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I, I was in the shower, I've been in the shower, I've been in the shower, uh, and I, I found a little growth, you know, in the armpit, skin tag, and it's been getting bigger and bigger. It's been all the time getting bigger. And, um, Eventually, you know, it's kind of like really big. It's actually it's like finding a vestigial twin. <laughs> it turns out he's called Trevor. <laughs> and the, uh, the only reason he's not here with me tonight is he's out shopping with Gok Wan. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>
I was listening to all those Oscopies there. I was like, ooh, he's got an Oscopy! Uh, it's an old commercial joke, isn't it? It's a long time ago. Well, I'm sorry, sorry, you're right. I'm surprised you know it. Maybe 